Hey guys, today's gonna to be a quick video uh, on Flutterflow's new release with Gemini, Google's Gemini AI. So basically, base, you can just watch a quick preview video on Flutterflow's uh, YouTube channel. However, what you can do um, in terms of Gen AI is quite interesting now that it is natively built in. So now you don't need to make those API calls uh, to generate um, to use open AI to generate text and images. But now it's all built in. So how it works is that firstly, you need to just quickly go to your settings, go to Gemini, and then enable Gemini. And then here, go to this link to set up your API key and paste it here. After that's done, um, you can easily just create a page. So there are two main services uh, natively built in to Flutterflow. Uh, right now. So the first one is generate text. So if I go here, the first service is generate text. And the second service is text from image. Count token just basically checks how what's your usage, but we don't really need that right now. Uh, basically, you know, counting the tokens basically based on this text prompt, how much to how many token, which is a, a measurement of usage and cost, it will cost you. So I'll go through on how to use generate text and text from image. So firstly, generate text is quite simple. So think of this as the, almost like a, a chatbot then. Um, I pasted a, a text field here where it, this is the user's input. And then there's a button where I've just called the action Gemini, generate text. And the text prompt is the text input field and then I've just used an output called Gemini output. And then I've just, you know, listed the text here, Gemini output um, as this text widget here and only show when the output is not null. So let's quickly test this to see what it looks like. Now that's loaded, I will give it a prompt. Uh, what is a dog? And we'll press generate. And this will basically call the service and output a response. Here you can say a dog is a domestic carnivorous mammal that blah, 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 blah. So this is basically Gem Gemini's response, which is quite good. Now you can have your own inbuilt chatbot um, using Gemini. Next, I wanna cover generating images. No, understanding images. So the example Flutterflow gave was that they basically uh, said, saw this cute dog and then put an image. And then the image basically said, uh, that basically Gemini told him, this is, looks like a Labrador, blah, 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 right? So I basically built the same thing, uh, but instead of a kind of a, I think the example was voice to text, which you can do separately. But what I've done is that the prompt is gonna be a text field inputted by the user. So I've just simply dragged the text field here. And then uh, there's a button to upload an image so just a very native basic button, upload to Firebase. And then I'll show the image of what's uploaded as well. And then when the user clicks answer, we will use text from image Gemini service. The text prompt is this text field. And the image is basically the uploaded file URL. And then subsequently we will store the output as well. And then I will show the output here. Um, and only show if it's um, set and not now. So I'll quickly show you how it works. So let's just say, uh, just ignore this error. It doesn't really matter, you can fix it later. I'm gonna upload an image first. So I'm gonna upload an image that I just got off the internet. Um, and then I will say, what is, or I can say, describe, describe this image for me. You can see here, this is the image I uploaded. I press answer and it basically uploads thinks about what's the answer, Gemini's doing his work. And you can see here, it says, this: there is a white lantern in a candle sitting in the snow. A lantern is sitting in front of a snow covered evergreen tree. You can further prompt it. So this is basically how Flutterflow has integrated Gemini AI natively into Flutterflow. Now that you can, one, um, almost build your own little chatbot through the text, uh, generate text service, in addition, the second service you can use is the um, the text from image service, which is quite good. Um, so now that you've understood how to use 
Flutterflow's Gemini integration. Um, I hope you explore a lot of use cases out there and build your own AI app. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more content on Flutterflow.